Hi, my name is Amy Wall, and I'm the author of We Jane. I tend to sort of shy away from words like uh, important, but what I wanted to do and what I hoped uh, might resonate with people was um, to tell a different kind of abortion story, um, one that didn't need to like look to the past or or uh, create some kind of like dystopian future, um, but instead grapple with the situation um, as it is today, um, in this case in, in rural Newfoundland. Um, the increasingly uh, grim reality is that questions of, of reproductive justice and access to abortion have only grown um, more relevant in the years that I was working on the book, um, and unfortunately, uh, even more so today. Um, you know, we're about to watch Roe v. Wade fall in the States. Um, the situation feels increasingly dire. Um, so what I imagined from the start was um, imagining a group of women um, deciding to take kind of a side road, um, take the situation into their own hands and, and look at abortion from the perspective of, of care work and community. My protagonist is a young woman named Martha. Um, she's from Newfoundland and she's been living in Montreal for a few years. Um, and she's a little bit at loose ends in her life. Um, she meets an older woman um, and kind of falls under her spell. Um, and this woman tells her about um, the Jane Collective, which was a group of women in Chicago uh, who ran a underground abortion service in the late 60s and early 70s. Um, and then she tells her about a, a modern day Jane operating in Newfoundland. So for Martha, this becomes both uh, a kind of mission to join and a way to go home. I think there's something so beautifully private about a first book. Um, you get to be alone with it in a way that you probably won't ever be again um, once you've published and kind of been out in the world and, and heard from people and kind of have these outside voices and considerations in your mind. Um, you know, for that time, it's just you and your book and everything that you want to put in it. And I feel like uh, when you read first novels, you can kind of sense that energy. There's a, a playfulness and an audacity and a, and a weirdness, a kind of a particular kind of freedom. To someone writing their first novel, I would say um, protect that private space. Um, you know, write your book for yourself uh, the way you want to write it and try not to let the noise of outside voices uh, in. Uh, you know, don't think about things like the market, um, you know, enjoy that private little world while you have it. I have a, a little handful of books on the go right now. Um, um, speaking of first novels, I'm reading uh, one by Raven Leilani called Luster. Um, also poetry by Alex Dimitrov, a collection called Love and Other Poems, and, um, and Henry James, The Portrait of a Lady.